You ever go out to get in your car, put the key in, turn it on, and nothing happens, and you just have that feeling like, oh my god, is my battery dead? Well, maybe. Or maybe it's your alternator. Who knows? But in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, let's get right into it. So this is a Hyundai um, Tucson, and um, the customer is telling me that they're having problems with the car not starting and dying. Uh, we put multiple batteries in it just to get it here, uh, and it's draining all the batteries, so I know it's the alternator. So what you gotta do is, you gotta open the hood, all right, and put the little stick on. So always make sure that you get a little stick in here so the hood doesn't come down on you. And then this is a front wheel drive. So if you look at the passenger light right here, if you stand right where the passenger light is, you can look straight down and see the alternator right here. You see that where the alternator um, pulley is? Now I know it's the alternator because when I look through these cuts right here, I can see the windage and that's all the copper uh, filament in there around the magnet. So I know that this one is it. So we have to take the serpentine belt off. What you're gonna have to do first is you're gonna have to loosen up uh, one of these pulleys down here. That's the tension pulley so that you can pull the belt off of the pulley with the alternator because you can't, if you take all the bolts out of the alternator and it's still under pressure, it's gonna flip this way and you don't wanna damage anything else in your vehicle. So let's do everything the correct way. We're gonna take the belt off first. And once I take the belt off, I'm gonna show you the bolt here and where to get the other bolt. Now remember, every time we're working with electrical, what do we do? Right, we take off the battery. So as you can see here, we completely have removed the battery so that we can charge it. But if you don't have that problem, you still need to take the ground wire, this, this one, off of the vehicle, and I know this is the ground because you see where it connects to the metal. Grounds always connect to metal, so that's how you know which one it is if they're not color coordinated. This one is not color coordinated, and this one isn't red. So if you don't know, always remember, ground goes to metal. So okay, there's no battery. We've waited our 15 minutes, and now we can go ahead and start unplugging the electrical on this. Now let's look at the new alternator. So this is a fresh new alternator. As you can see that one big bolt was this bolt on top. So you can kind of see how we're gonna put it back in. You have to take this bolt out here. You have to take the belt off first. And then underneath here is one more large bolt. So there's two bolts, one on top, one on bottom. And then in the back, you have to do the plug-in. So this one that has the screw on it that you can take on and off, this is gonna be where your power line is. This is why you have to take the um, battery off because if you unscrew this, it can arc almost like you're welding. This is under a lot of um, amps and voltage. You'd never wanna do that. It could go back and fry your computer. You don't wanna ever mess with that. And this is where the sensor goes to tell, to get the uh, readings, to get the pa um, everything out of this to work. And this is the power. So now that you see what the new alternator looks like, let's get right into work and start tearing this thing out so that you can do it on your own. And now we're gonna fast forward. Okay, we fast forward a little bit and um, there's only two bolts, remember? This one right here that's on top of the alternator. And that was a 14 and it's pretty long so pull it out if it hits this it's okay just kind of wiggle it around and it'll come right out so that's a 14 and there's one on the bottom i'm going to show you where that one's out um real quick um, i cannot get to the power line that i showed you in the back or the sensor yet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the bolts out roll it forward and let me scoot back for you so you can actually see what i'm doing so i'm going to take the top bolt out and the bottom bolt out like this and I'm gonna roll it off of the accessory mount here. That way I can turn it a little bit and get to those two, uh, the sensor and the power wire 
and then I'll show you how to take those off. But before we jump to that, let's look underneath and see where the other bolt is because um, it was a little bit, you have to take some stuff off to get to it. So we'll just jump down. Real quick, down the here. Yours might not have a plate right here, but this one had a plate. So there was um, one, two, three, ten, tens right here. I took them out with the socket and I just took that piece of plastic and I laid it down. So if yours doesn't have that plastic, it's okay, but it does protect rocks and things from getting into where your engine is and the pulleys and won't scratch up the belt. So you see where the ratchet is right now? Let me zoom in for you. You see that you can tell that that's the alternator because you see the brass. You see there's the ratchet. The ratchet's right here. And then if you look right over here, you can see the brass. See it? So I'm gonna zoom out. So this is the bottom bolt. It's a 14 as well. And then I just took use the ratchet. I'm gonna pull that out real quick. And then I'm gonna move the alternator and show you how to get the sensor and the other piece out. And we're gonna pass forward. Okay, now that we got those two bolts out, the top and bottom, I'm gonna take you underneath and show you how to get the bottom plate off if you ever have to do any work. And then we can get to the back two pieces of the um, alternator and start to pull that out. So let's get on the little creep here and get underneath and I'll show you what bolts you have to get out. So right here when you get under, there's one right in the front. Right where you do your oil, there's an oil filter up in here, or the oil plug is right here. This is another one, two. All the way on the other side. So just keep following this plastic thing around, like with your finger, three. And then in the front, four. And in the middle, there's a fifth one. So three in the front and uh, um, two in the back. They're 13s, at least mine are. These are 13s. And then you still gotta take these out. This is a screw and this plug will come out. And there's a few of these in the front of the bumper as well, you know? I wanna take it all the way off instead of just letting it hang here because I don't want to damage this person's um, piece of equipment. So I'm going to take this whole plate off right here and I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath where the alternator is. So here's the um, plastics that were in this one. I couldn't get them to unscrew because they're the original so I had to just pop them out. Um, I use this special tool right here. So um, I have three of these in a set and they're uh, there to get body panel uh, pieces out, but they were great with these clips, so we'll do a class on that. And I want to uh, make a clarification. These are not 13s. I said that there was five 13s. These are 12. I don't know how to do the edit, like put 13 on there yet, but I just want to make sure that you know, if you use a wrench or a socket to get these off, this is 12 millimeter. And there, there's two on the other side. So there was five and eight. And then the shield came off from underneath. So you know the shield. So let's look underneath and I'm gonna show you now what we can see because now you can actually see where to get the, uh, the pieces off the back. So there she is. There's the alternator. You, you see I could tell because you can see the brass right here. So this is the um, sensor piece where I showed you on the new one. And this is the hot wire, which we took the battery off. So let's zoom in a little bit right there. See the sensor is right here, the gray. So you're gonna pinch that and pull that straight out. And that bolt right there had a piece of rubber on it, a protection piece. I just moved it off with my finger. And now I'm gonna um, put the wrench on that, uh, socket on this and back this out. So, and then I'm gonna pull the alternator out and put the new one in and I'll show you. We are under the front of the car right here. And I just wanna show you what I did to take the um, alternator out, I thought it was the easiest. So I took this piece of the um, AC compressor and I did not dis disconnect it from the wires or from the lines or anything. I just took the mounting off. So these are 12s and I used a 12 socket to get these off. And the two on the top were very, um, I couldn't get a socket in there. 
So I had to use a ratcheting wrench to get up in there. And so here's one. Uh, see this one too? And then on the other side, there's also two. So if I move it, you see one, two, and then there's one, and then there's one, four. And then just kind of move this around, move this to the side where you need it to be. And you can pull down between the um, oil filter and this. So you move this and it'll give you that gap right there. Where before this was here, now you have that gap to get the old one down and the new one down. And you can get in here and do the uh, power wire and disconnect the um, sensor which is still hanging here. And the, this is the what the power wire looks like that you're going to screw on the back. There's only the one screw. So I'm going to go ahead and install it now and I'm going to push it back up here. I'm going to connect these two pieces in the back. Then I'm going to turn it and mount, put it in the mount and then put the bolts, the top and bottom bolt on. So everything I did, I'm just gonna do it in reverse now. Once I get it back in, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, so I just put this in and thank God I didn't put everything back together because it doesn't fit um, per perfectly. So the car has these spacer bumps and this alternator also has a, the spacer bumps but either the car or the alternator is supposed to have this, not both. So what I'm see how it doesn't have one on this side? I'm gonna now take the grinder, the grinder, and I'm gonna put it against there and hit it down flat. And then on the other side, it, you can see where it's unfinished, where it's got a burr on it even, see where it's sticking out. I mean, the alternator is a good alternator, it's just the, the case has some malfunctions on it. I don't want to take it all the way back and go get another one because they ordered this one special for me from um, AutoZone. So I'm just going to take this burr down too and then it's going to slide right in. I just wanted to show you guys like if you see something like this and it's not fitting correctly or you, you uh, see something that doesn't match up, you can make little modifications yourself. Like I'm going to burn this down just, you know, with normal everyday grinder, just plug it in and burr that down flat. And then it'll work, you know. Don't don't get ups, all upset and say, "Oh, I gotta take the alternator back," you know, because you might get another one, and it, now it's on this side, you know. So, all right, I'll show you what it looks like when we get it back in. So these are the two alternators together. You can see the old one I took out and the new one. Uh, so it would sit up like this. So I noticed that you see all the oil that's dripped on here. I think what happened is. Uh, this person never fixed their valve cover leak and it just dripped and dripped and dripped and it burned this up inside So if you have a small problem So I just ground the piece down flat and you see what it looks like like a piece of steel in here uh, And it's pressed in a piece of aluminum, but as you see as we go down flat And this side flat and now it slides right in because before the burr was getting up on that burr and you're gonna crack this piece of aluminum trying to push metal against metal here. So this is how you fix it if you ever get one of these and it's burred out, you just grind this side down. I, grow, I did the other side as well and now we're gonna put it in. So there it is, job's all done. I gotta put the belt back on but you see the 14 on the top and the 14 um, on the bottom. This is the new alternator that we put back in and I had to reattach the, um, see it right underneath it. I had to reattach these. Remember there's two 12s down here and two 12s on the top of up here. You gotta make sure when you're doing this um, AC uh, pump that you don't take off the wrong 12s because that the airlines are locked down with that as well. Uh, so we still have to clean this problem from the valve cover uh, but we're gonna probably do that in a couple of days and we're gonna jump we're gonna um, charge the battery a little bit put the belt back on and there you go how to put an alternator in a uh, uh, Hyundai Tucson all right man um, I hope I help somebody out save some money um, you know you can do this stuff yourself and build confidence can we get a like and a subscribe I really need subscribers, so um, I got a lot. I got a lot of watch time. A lot of you guys are coming and, and watching my videos and coming back. It's telling me on the algorithm. 
but you gotta hit the subscribe button. Help me out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. All right, we love you all. God bless, and we're out.